Come on down south by there and meet some friends of mine. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. Let's check out the South Park episode. I should have never gone zip lining. Let's do this. Kyle! Four young boys in Colorado are on a trip from hell. Ah! I can't take it! Somebody help us! Okay. Trapped in an unforgiving mountain wilderness. The fourth graders are in a nightmare they cannot escape. You gotta wake up, Kyle! I love the style of this For four opening. elementary school boys, an ordinary day becomes a descent into madness on tonight's episode of I Should Have Never Gone Ziplining. We really had spent the whole spring break watching TV and playing Xbox, you know, so we, we wanted to go out and do something really adventurous. We could go to the city pool. They have a water slide. No, 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 I'm not getting in a pool with Kenny. He has herpes. What? Look at his lip. You got herpes, dude. <laughs> now, cold sore is what girls call it, Kenny. It's actually herpes. Come on, guys. The day's <laughs> wasting away. What would be something really cool we could do? Yeah, zip lining. That could be really cute. We've definitely not done that before. I think there's a place just outside of town. I'll see if my Uncle Jimbo will drop us off. Cool. Zip lining. Zip lining. Hell yeah. Within 30 minutes, the boys are getting a ride to the zip lining outfit from Stan's Uncle Jimbo. I got it! Come and ride for us! We were in a good mood, just joking around, you know? Mostly making fun of Kenny's herpes. Sick, Kenny! You got herpes, dude! Oh, I almost touched it! Sick. Oh, sick, Kenny! Stop, no. boy! Fuck a fool, Did you hear that, guys? Kenny says it's just a fever blister. <laughs> you sound like a chick, Kenny. That's herpes, dude. You got that shit till you die. <laughs> Hey, you guys here for the two o'clock zip line tour? Yeah. All right, let me get you some helmets and some gear and we'll get up there and hit that fresh nar nar. And so they put us in these harnesses and helmets. I, I think that's when we started realizing, oh wow, this is actually pretty dangerous. Okay, just follow me over to the waiting room and we'll have you take a seat with the others. Others? Hello. Hi. The boys have just made a sobering discovery. For 10 year old Stan Marsh, the realization that he will be with a tour group has caused his adrenal gland to slow down. The average human acts a certain way when surrounded by friends and family. But in a tour group, the brain has to work overtime, acting nice and pretending to care about people on the tour. Hey, okay. how are you? Good, how are you? Sorry we made you wait, everybody. Inside Kyle's mouth, the muscles contract to force a smile, <laughs> even though in his brain, Kyle is thinking, dude, fuck you. We don't mind. Now everyone was there. We thought things would start getting fun, Great. but that's when we had to watch the safety video. Welcome to Backcountry Adventures. Well, hey there, Michael. Hey there, Michael. <laughs> oh, no. It was, I don't know, 10, maybe 15 minutes of pure hell. <laughs> <laughs> And don't forget to take in the NAR. Back to you, Michael. Thanks, Michael. Anybody have any questions? I have a question. <laughs> Could we review the best ways to hold the rope again? The sound effect. Really? You're going to make us all listen to it again because you couldn't understand? Really? Everyone just step on in the shuttle. Shuttle? How, how long do we have to take the shuttle? It's about 45 minutes. For Kyle, it's almost too much to bear. His brain is already lacking excitement, and now just the word shuttle makes Kyle's brain fire neurons that bring up memories of just how lame shuttles can be. Oh no! Did they just show the challenge? We have a report from the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. That is terrible, but I'm a little disappointed in myself because Part of me found that sh clever. All right, guys, should be about 45 minutes to the freshest nar nar. Nar nar. Why don't we go around the van and get to know each other a little bit? Uh, that's okay. Well, my name's Pete Nichols, and this is my <laughs> wife, Donna. And, uh, make a long story short, we came out here to see our relatives who live down in Moab. They have okay. uh, been living there about 20 years now, <laughs> and uh, long story short, we looked around in the newspapers and on the internet and on billboards and, you know, make a long story short, we found this company and <laughs> thought we'd short. give her a try. So then we called and 
made a reservation, and that's Sorry. when, you know, long story short, we just saw... Uh, <laughs> We're getting close. You guys getting psyched? Woo! But what the boys don't realize is that a massive storm is brewing. Oh. Last night, Eric Cartman had Kung Pao spaghetti from California Pizza Kitchen. That Inside kind of Eric's stomach, the Kung Pao has just met with the Del Taco he ate for breakfast. It has already started to tear down the layers of barbecue BK toppers that have been building up for months. And now, what? to compensate for all the annoying tourists, Eric is ingesting massive amounts of Mountain Dew. The caffeine and sugar turns the soupy fast food liquid in his stomach into a toxic gas. When the gas is released, it carries with it tiny particles of Eric's fecal matter. Fecal matter which floats up and into Kyle's nasal passage. Did, did you fart? Yeah. No? Looks like we got some good nard to zip line through today. Uh, but before we climb up and start zip lining, does anyone care to know about these trees' biology? The trees' biology? We are running a little late, <clears throat> but if anyone really wants to know, we could take a few minutes. I think we're good. I'd like to know about oh, the biology of the no. trees. Okay, well, this is a ponderosa pine. It covers a more extensive area it's so than mad. other American. So after asshole gets his biology lesson, we finally get to go zip lining. Ready to do some zipping? Yeah. All right, let's hear you say zip line! Zip line. Shaka bra! <laughs> nice zip! Well, how was it, Cartman? Yeah, dude, it's fucking boring as shit. All right, Kyle, give me a zip line. Zip line. Shaka, bro. It was like having the life sucked out of you. That's all it is, sliding down a cable. Maybe without a tour group, it'd be kind of fun. Maybe. But this was just a complete disaster. After a grueling 20 minutes, the boys realize they have just wasted hours of their time. And that is when the unthinkable happens. All right, guys, let's get moving. Only 10 minutes to our next zip line. Yeah! The next zip line? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, excuse me, we aren't going back now, are we done? This is a zip line tour. We got 16 more to go. And it was oh, like, no. wham! Yeah! <laughs> Everyone back in the shuttle. Ah! The boys realize that their zip lining nightmare has only just begun. Ah! through that. Anyone have any questions about the creek we're about to cross? <laughs> yes. Ah! Ah! with the little green frog one day. Ah! with the little green frog. <laughs> with the little green frog one day. Ah! The wrong kids for that type of environment. Whee! Did you get another picture of us? The fourth graders are in a nightmare they cannot escape. I'm so fucking bored! <laughs> All right, you going next, Ricky? Help! 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 We should have never listened to you, Cal. Me? Yeah, you! In the park this morning? I know, let's all go ziplining. We've never done that before. Oh, no, don't try to pin this on me. You're the one who brought it up. I brought it up because you already brought it up. That's when I realized nobody remembered. Nobody yeah. remembered it was me who came up with the idea to go ziplining. Oh. Me. You fat piece of shit! Fuck you, Cap! Guys, guys! Does it really matter whose idea it was? Yes! yes. Alright, look, we can make it, you guys. We can't panic. If the four of us don't zipline, the tour will move faster. We are gonna make it out of here, okay? But what the boys don't realize is that Eric's body is already shutting down from stage four diarrhea. Inside stage his stomach. Four. <laughs> Maybe you didn't hear so good in there, Kyle. Second degree titty twister. Kyle has just dislodged an Arby's ultimate Angus in the average human. Wait a minute, what all did Cartman eat? Earlier, didn't they just say he had California Pizza Kitchen in his stomach, Del Taco, it's like some barbecue poppers or something from Burger King, I think? And then now you got an Angus burger from Arby's? No, what do you got stage four diarrhea? <laughs> <laughs> Eric Cartman is now drinking Double Dew, a Mountain Dew product with twice the sugar and caffeine of regular Mountain Dew. His rancid feces is now rapidly converting to a thick paste. The diarrhea shoots out of Eric's anus and into his underwear. Ugh. Eric Cartman is a ticking time bomb. Dude, did you just shit your pants? Uh -huh. No? So, no? I just tried to keep the tour group moving as fast as possible. 
Come in by the waterfall, gang. Oh, no. Could, could we skip lunch and keep going? Skip a free lunch? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants guy. sandwiches? We got turkey. They're all wet. Ham. Turkey ham. You guys, seriously, something's wrong in my tummy. Then stop drinking Double Dew, fat ass. Exactly. Diet Double Dew, Kyle. It only has half the caffeine and sugar of Double Dew. Isn't half the sugar and half the caffeine of Double Dew the same amount as a regular Mountain Dew? Do the math. Oh, man, you guys, I gotta get to a bathroom fast. You're in a forest. Go take a crap. If I crap in the woods, the blood will attract beavers, Cal. What? Our friend is really, really sick. Oh, you mean the little kid with the herpes? Yeah. That's not herpes, it's a cold sore. Right, sorry. <laughs> yeah, his, his cold sore is really bad, and uh, he's losing blood, so we gotta go. Jeez, sorry, dude. Our only way down is to zip down. Zip line! Zip line! There's a ranch right past that hill that rents out horses. I, I bet they can get you back. Now, let me get this straight. You want four horses, one for each of you? Yes, please. Well, I think we can set you up. Oh, thank God! You see, guys, this is gonna be sweet after all. Step right out here and we'll get you going. Got four more for you, Duncan. Hi! Hi! Oh, no. yes! Uh oh. Yeah. Uh. So, anyway, long story short, I was born in 1953 at six in the morning. An attempt to make a bad day better <laughs> becomes a descent into madness on I should have never thought horseback riding would be any better than zip lining. So silly. This here waterfall is called Heartbreak Falls. Would y'all like to know why it's called Heartbreak Falls? Well, I certainly would. Yeah, yeah. please. Go without me. No, we're not leaving you here, Kyle. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> why do people say long story short? They're not making it short, Stan. <laughs> I just sat there watching Kyle die and <sighs> wanted to tell him the truth right then and there. Then this fire rose up inside of me. I, I thought I can find us a way out. There's a lake a hundred yards down that way. They've got a marina with boats just sitting there. A marina? We can take a boat, you guys. We can probably take it all the way back to fair play. What's the point? Come on, you guys. A boat all to ourselves? It'll be fun. What could possibly go wrong? A trip from hell. <laughs> oh, yeah! oh, the real Trapped version's on a like all this. foot power boat, which is only allowed to go five miles an hour. Because we keep getting screwed over by your diarrhea. Well, it's not my diarrhea's fault, but you took us all ziplining, you fucking Jew. Ziplining was your idea, you fat ass. Whose idea was it to go ziplining, mine or Kyle's? And he's got the cool sword. I, don't know. I really don't give a shit. An already tragic day becomes a descent into madness on I should have never got on a goddamn boat. It's a disfiltered place, only four hours will come right around. Oh, no! <laughs> Beavers! This is a true story. After cleaning Cartman's diarrhea and fighting off beavers, the boys have made a terrifying discovery that boating is just as boring as ziplining. I don't know. I just thought if we all drank the Mountain Dew, the, the caffeine and the sugar would help us stay awake. I told Cartman he had to share it. I'm not sharing it with Kenny. He has herpes. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Fuck you, Cartman. What kind of voice is that? And oh, just when no. it seems it can't get any worse. Kenny? Kenny McCormick has died of boredom. <laughs> oh my god. They killed Kenny. You bastards! No, not they. You! Look what your zip lining idea has done. You killed Kenny. You're the bastard! It wasn't my idea. It was yours! You killed Kenny, you bastard! Stop it. It was me. My idea. I thought it would be fun. <laughs> it's got the South Park I dramatic. only acted like it was an idea we all came up with together. You intended for us to go ziplining all along? Why, Stan? If you signed up three friends, you got a free iPod Nano. Oh. I had no idea ziplining would be so boring. You. You killed Kenny. You bastard! You bastard, Stan! This is so silly. <laughs> oh, kitty. 
the boy's prayers are finally answered. It was a miracle. He came to save us and take us back home. You came for us, Mr. Hanky! Thank you, Mr. Hanky. Howdy, what home, boys. is going Let's get you on? Back home. <laughs> the boys were airlifted aboard Mr. Hanky's magical helicopter. In the four hours since they had left home, the boys had traveled so far that Mr. Hanky then had to fly them on his 737. From there, it was only. Did you just say 737? From there, it was only an hour ride back home on the Poochu Express. Four friends, uh... torn apart by tragedy, would now start the long journey back to forgiveness. Kenny McCormick's remains were finally brought home to his parents. Why and the boys received smiling? treatment for their herpes. No, I didn't get herpes. I just had a cold sore. Kyle Broflovsky spent 27 days in the hospital, having fecal matter removed from his nasal passages. Stan Marsh dedicated himself to raising awareness about the boredom risks of zip lining. His awareness <laughs> videos became so popular that Stan once again ended up jacking it in San Diego. There's no better place for jacking it than San Diego. Nice. As for Eric Cartman, he refused to let the tragedy stop him from doing what he loves most. In just two weeks, he was back to drinking Diet Double Dew, defiant to do the math. It's diet, dude. Diet soda doesn't give you diarrhea. I love how stupid and nonsensical the real bits of that episode got, but that was gold. Thank you so much for this recommendation. If you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.